doing today is uh, utilising the chicken and pineapple from yesterday's meal um, and obviously the leftover rice. And what I'm going to be making with it today is um, uh, a Thai yellow curry. So um, what I've done is chopped, pre-chopped some white onion, um, ginger, uh, carrots, peeled some uh, baby potatoes, um, and then what I'm going to do is add various spices to it. Um, and what I'm going to do to just release the flavour from the spices and merge them up a little bit better is use the pestle and mortar today. So I've got gallon gal root powder, uh, I've got cumin powder, um, coriander, ground coriander, some crushed, just a little bit of crushed uh, chilies, um, uh, green peppercorns, uh, cumin seeds as well. And then I just thought, and plus turmeric powder, obviously. Um, which again, what I do is use coconut oil, so that will basically um, help uh, release like uh, the the antioxidants, the curcumin from the uh, from the turmeric, it, so you can actually get all the goodness, release all the goodness from it. Um, I'll, I'm going to put uh, some fennel seeds in there. Just that's just my little spin on it. I'm not sure if it will make much difference, but um, you know. It's worth a try, isn't it? It's uh, just uh, making use of what what I've got in my in my larder today. So, also the other thing that I've got is um, I don't know if you can see that, which is like um, a cardamom pods. So you just split the end and then just release the little pods from inside, and then put them in the pestle and mortar as well, and then grind it all up. You don't want to have any of the shell of the cardamom pods. And I'm going to put three in there. Should be enough. It's quite strong cardamom, so just don't like a lot. Okay. And whilst I'm going to be doing this, what I might as well do is just throw it, heat up the. Um, the leftover chicken and pineapple in there. Normally, I would obviously never normally uh, make a Thai yellow curry like this, but we're just utilizing the food that we've got left over, and that's what it's all about, Resource being resourceful with the food available so we don't waste any. Okay, so, but by the time I actually add all the spices, the coconut milk in there as well, you know, and plus the potato carrot, it will, it will taste like a different dish. You won't even, you will never know it's, uh, it was a chicken and pineapple before, I'm sure. So what I do is um, just get that heated up slightly. And it will probably cook, what, once it's all cooking, it will need cooking down for probably uh, maybe like um, half an hour, just on the hob with the lid on. And then it's uh, obviously just to heat up the rice, you can do that in the microwave, it's fine. And that'll be, it's a nice simple meal really. Okay, so I've got the cardamom pods in there, uh, uh, sorry, seeds in there. I've got the fennel seeds in there. Um, I just put a few like crushed chilies in there. Not a lot, because I, I don't really want a lot of spice in there. Just a little bit, that's it. Just give it a little bit of flavor. A couple of peppercorns, not a lot, again. Um, but then I probably want quite a bit of ground coriander. Maybe like a, t a teaspoon of that. I'm going to heat a teaspoon of brown food in. And then uh, it's just a few cumin seeds, like a, maybe a, yeah, like a pinch of that. And I've got some gallon gal root powder. Normally you'd use fresh gallon gal root, but I don't have that anymore. It. Probably put like uh, two little um, teaspoons in there, and then uh, probably like a heat teaspoon of turmeric, and that's it. And then what I do is um, I grind it up. Oh, yeah, I've got the fennel seeds in there. I grind that all up. I'm 
I'm just going to put like the carrot in there. Put the carrot into the dish. In fact, what I do is I just cut these bits of potato in half. Might as well just uh, give them a little bit of a uh, heat them through a little bit beforehand. And then by the time you put in the, the spice mix, then you'll get a nice like uh, coating around around it. Up. And that's it. And obviously it doesn't have the skins on the potatoes so that it can absorb a lot more of the flavour that way. Okay. These ones are small so they can just go in the hole. And that's it. Roughly do that. And turn that down a little bit. Medium heat is fine. Don't want to undercook things. Going back to this. Let's give that like a nice grind. ginger in there and when you're doing this if um, I do recommend that you do get a pestle and mortar because when you do this the, the fragrance from it is a, it's really nice really nice you don't smell the you don't smell the spices to the full effect when you're just frying them in the pan but if you grind them down it really releases a lot of flavour you never want to overcook spices either you know, heat them up on a low heat. As long as they've got a sauce in there, something to stop them sticking, they'll be fine. And that's it. So there we have it. Like nice uh, yellow uh, curry. It's kind of like a paste, but like more like a powder. If you wanted to make it into a proper paste, then what you do, I don't have the ingredients readily available today, um, is basically you get a blender and um, put like some fresh coriander in there, lemongrass in there uh, and, and stuff like that and then blitz it up with a bit of coconut milk in there and then it will give you like a proper yellow, uh, Thai yellow curry paste. Uh, and that's how you properly should do it, but we're just freestyling it today, aren't we? So, it doesn't matter. Okay, just turn it up slightly, not too much. And then put your onions in there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this, um, a little bit of coconut oil in there. Create a little hole in the middle where the coconut oil is and put that there with the onions and that will just turn it up a little bit just, just to get it going and you can just always adjust the hob back down yeah and that's what I'm doing okay let's melt it nicely but that's fine the whole point of this curry is it kind of like it's going to slow cook so everything's going to go soft, this coconut milk's going to make it all go soft. So I'm actually not really thoroughly cooking it here. This is just, this is actually just, you know, getting, bringing every, all the flavours together. That's what it's doing. Yeah, and after you've um, finished cooking every, every day, then Clean your hob down with some like um, antibacterial sp uh, spray. That's what I recommend. So you know that your kitchen's nice and safe and clean, hygienic to cook the next day. With. Okay, so in goes the coconut milk. And that's it. Give it a little stir. Show you guys in a minute. That's it. So if you can just see see that slightly there, yeah. don't want to tear it too much, and that's it. That's all it is. But 
obviously I'll, you guys will get a picture of uh, the dish once I play it. And that's all there is to it. That's uh, my own freestyled uh, Thai yellow curry. Turn that down to maybe mid heat. Uh, I won't even put a timer on it because I know to check it. I'm in the room anyway. Come and check it maybe in 20 minutes. Give it a further 10 minutes, then job done.